everyone, Jen here again of Training Team and today I'm going to show you how to make our assignment number 2. Okay, now we can start our um, designs. Um, let us just open PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint 2016 and then let's just choose the blank presentation. This time, I wanted to use um, 4.3 size, so how to change the size, go to design, slide size, and just choose the standard and shape it. I'm using rounded rectangle. I'm going to show you how to cut. So we can just insert another shape, a rectangle shape, and we just um, cover. Okay, duplicate it. All right. So just remember that when you're using the merging on the shapes, make sure that you choose first the one that you wanted to stay. So let's say I wanted this. I'm gonna choose first the one in the middle, and then you can um, select. Uh, you just press Shift and select the other shape. Okay. So let's go to format merge shape and then let's just subtract see as you can see the one the shape that i wanted will here i wanted to duplicate it let's just change the color go to format shape okay i'm choosing a uh, gray and put line and then let's just send to back see just align this Okay, I don't like to put, uh, I want to change the color to make it 100% red and no line. So actually we're going to use gradient here. So by gradient, just uh, choose the color, I could choose the color red and then gradient. So by gradient, we can just um, here. See, I'm using 220. And I just adjust from here. 200 times the first element, and we can just um, select it, and then let's Control G, and we can group it. So both of these, when you want to to you know to to move it, it will gonna move like that. Use the photos. So I'm gonna use the picture and go to. The photo and thread to use this one. Alright. And then um, you just crop it. You can just um, choose the corner solid line, and I'm using white. Change the color by white and change the wind to make it more wider or faster. Yeah, this is fine. Insert another photo one. Alright, and I want it to crop again. See, go to crop, crop the shape. So, I, if you wanted to put all of this photo, it also can, but um, I wanted to grab more. So, I just wanted to just till here. Right. Just move, just the solid line. Again, by white and make it more pink. All right, I'm using April as you can see. There was a shadow on your. Yeah. There, there was a shadow. Now let's add another circle. 
another shape. Let's just add another sh shape. And I'm just using triangle. Okay. Edit points. If you are very professional and using your edit points, you are not gonna have any problem with your banner. Right click, format shape, and then let's just no line. Okay, let's change the color again by red. Gradient. And um, let's just buy red. Okay. Alright. And uh, for the angle, you can just choose. To okay, I'll position it by 59%, but up to you. This is all good. Alright, done. And then let's just insert back to school. Insert that text box. And then just write back slash two and school. Right. So we can just um, highlight it and then go to home and we can just change it. Um, let's use Arial. Arial back. Okay. And let's change it. Okay. So, um, I like the back and change it by white. And so, and let's change it by yellow. And for the school, I wanted to change it by yellow too. Here, insert another text box, admission, and then um, just highlight it and change it. Calibri, I wanted to use Calibri. Change my yellow. Uh, Okay, make it bold here. So you can see I choose Calibri Body 28 size and bold it. Okay, this is a Terminator. I use Terminator. I do the edit points to make it a bit um, adjusted. Okay. And then let's just format the color. Make white and I don't like the line. So select, insert small circle here, change the color to yellow and no line. Okay, right, and then you can um, write here. Um, let's insert another text box. One third. Okay. And then copy it. Duplicate everything. Okay, you can just um, either group it. And control G. And then let's just duplicate by two more. Being, don't worry, that is okay. With the online photo or any symbol, telephone symbol, we can just add call us for more information. You can use red color or depends on you. You can search that and then um, insert another text box. Information. Just highlight it, Control V, and then 
then I'll change it the color by on the this red and then there and then duplicate this text box and just um, edit your number so let's say it's uh, six five um, eight six two eight seven five seven and yeah that's all but this is how only we we do the banner we already created one banner so yeah good luck guys i hope you can make it and this is really very easy uh on this video i just show you how to cut do the merging insert pictures and um, selecting the gradient and thank you so much i hope that you start to use your now you can uh, start to do your sign up number two good luck thank you bye